up guys welcome back to my channel today i'm coming to you with another timu haul uh yeah i know i shop at timu a lot i'm sorry it's content for you guys though you get to see what all i pick out um so i'm if you notice i'm in a little bit of a different angle and that's because i'm i'm chilling on the couch um <laughs> i'm just taking it easy um i've kind of turned a little bit a little catty corner here so but uh I got some things from Timu that I need to show you guys, and there's no theme or anything to this haul. It's just a, just a generalized little bit of this, a little bit of that, and um, the sun's going in and out, just to let you know. It's kind of windy outside. I have the dishwasher running, so I apologize if there's a couple of distractions, but uh, my boyfriend's outside and I have some time to myself. My daughter is just going down for a nap. Um, so I have a little bit of time. So I thought I would do this real quick and film something for you guys. So this particular haul, um, I had wrote it down in the bag because they actually had two orders in here. Um, and you can see, yeah, it's cut open. They had two orders in here and I had to cut it open and divvy, separate everything out. And on the bag, I had wrote that there were two orders in here and how many items each order was and how much that order was. So we have this order was 18 items and my total that I paid, sorry, there's a, there is a toy up there and it gets very annoying when my daughter has it. Um, so let me see if I can pull this up real quick. So this order was, like I said, it was 18 items and I paid $39.81. The original price of everything was $59.74 and I had a $10 off coupon. I think it was $10 off $59. As you can see, I just barely, <laughs> barely did that. Um, so I had a $10 off coupon and it was $3.45 in tax, free shipping of course, as always. And I had $13.38 in credit, so grand total $39.81. So, just a good little mix in here. I'm going to try to get through this as quick as I can. Um, so I'm just going to pull things out of this bag. And in case you're wondering, the other order that was in here is in a diaper box in the floor right here. So that might be the next order, that might be the next video that I record. So we're gonna start off with a brown eyeliner that I got and the box got a little, you know, little, little squished. Um, but this is a brown liquid eyeliner because I don't, I get a lot of black eyeliner because I normally wear black eyeliner a lot but I don't have a lot of brown. And there's been a couple of times where I wanted to wear a brown eyeliner. And this is from the company Kajal. Kajal? <laughs> Sorry. And it's wrapped in plastic, but it looks like it has a little strip. Where does the plastic start? Hold on. Maybe if I put some glasses on, maybe I'll be able to see it better. Ah, oh, you start way down here. Plastic doesn't start until way down here. I'm thinking it was like all the way up here, but it's not. Okay, so. Well, <laughs> had it, and then we lost it. Okay. okay. Off me. Okay. Um, I thought this was a liquid eyeliner. This was. This is more like a pen. It's more of like a crayon pen type of thing. So we'll see. It's pretty good, but it is more of a. 
I can only compare it to a crayon. It's like a pen. It's a pen. But it seems to be okay. I don't think I'm going to be able to do my eyeliner. Mm. And you see it just kind of just kind of chipped off. But other than that, I think it's pretty good. From what I can see, anyway. So. I always have the hardest time on this eye. So. But. I think that's okay. I just hate that it kind of broke off a little bit on the tip. But that was. Oh my gosh. Did I forget to tell you how much that was? I am so sorry. That was, since I have it actually pulled up here, that was a dollar and eighty-eight cents. So not too bad. Hey guys, so just a quick little update on that eyeliner that you just saw. Um, while I am wearing it right now, um, it ended up in the trash. And the story behind that is, it is like it's like drawing with a crayon. You saw in the video when I was showing it to you that the tip of it broke off. Well, when I tried to use it, it was... I mean, there's not really much control you have over how much liner is coming off. It's basically a really thick line. And when I tried to take my fingers and, like, squeeze it down or break it off a little bit on the tip to try to make the point a little bit sharper, the entire thing broke off of the base. So... I chunked it in the trash. The only thing I can show you, the only thing I can tell you, the upside to that um, eyeliner, the one thing it had going for it is that it does go on very smoothly. It's like a gel, a solid gel crayon. <laughs> that's the only thing, that's the only thing I can compare it to is a big crayon. So I just thought I would come in real quick and give you guys a little update on that. It's very difficult to do any kind of winged liner line on it. Um, I did try and failed. Um, I am the kind of person that does like more control over how much liner I am using, how thick the line is, um, and then the, the lines being, being crisp. With this particular liner, it's none of those things. So, just thought I would come in and give you a little bit of an update on that liner. I mean, it, it's a good, the color does go on good, um, but out of a, a scale from of 1 to 10, I would give it, I would probably give it like a 3. So, not the greatest, it has its upsides, but uh, yeah. Just thought I would give you an update on that because it's, it, it's in the trash now. I had the box right there, I could have just looked on the box. So the next thing we have is an eyeglasses case. This was a dollar and twenty-eight cents. I'm gonna put my glasses back on, y'all. Y'all just get to see me with no makeup, but with like eyeliner. <laughs> so this was a dollar and twenty-eight cents, and I just wanted to buy another eyeglasses case, like the ones that some of the nice eyeglasses come with when you buy them off of Timu. And it's purple, so of course I got purple. So. You know, just kind of the cloth lined eyeglass case that you normally get. Because normally, get. normally you get the ones in black, but they had them in different colors. So I got purple because purple is my color. So pick that up as well. Oh, and uh, these nails I got from Timu. And the glue that is being used to hold them on with, I also got from Timu. I'm going to y'all just a little bit here. Here we go. So, and I'm going to, I'm going to veer off a little bit from this particular order. Um, I got this glue right here, which I'll probably have seen in a previous uh, Timu order haul. Got this glue right here. This stuff is amazing, y'all. This stuff is amazing. Amazing. I put these nails on... Today is a Monday. I put them on Saturday morning before I went to work because I was working on the register that day. So I didn't need to wear gloves or wasn't going to be working any major extreme 
things with my nails, my fingers. So I put them on Saturday before I went to work. They have not come off yet. Now, I did lose this one. This one came off a couple of times already. Um, but the first time, well, both times actually, I was probably putting natural nail level stress on it. And so it came off. But y'all, I have attached it again. This thing is on there. Um, obviously, I've tried to buff off as much of the residue glue as I can. Um, and this one came off yesterday. Um, I think it was, it's got some, it, when I wear gloves at work, you know, fulfilling the orders and whatnot, my hands sweat in them. So, I think some of the moisture might have gotten underneath there. So, these two nails came off again yesterday. And... So I reattached them with the glue this morning and so far. But the rest of them, y'all, the rest of them have not budged. Have not budged at all. And even with like regular nail glue that I was using before, which was the Kiss brand, they came off so easily. Like, but y'all, that nail glue, I'm gonna, I'm gonna link that in these nails down there in the description box as well. But y'all, get you some of that nail glue. Um, so these, this was a pair of earrings, and this was a dollar and seven cents. And I don't know if y'all remember when I said I was on a kick of buying the larger earrings. So, it's a pair of earrings, and they did come with the little rubber backings in case you needed to use them, even though they're a hook earring. So, I just thought these were really sweet. Just something fun to have. Some butter butterfly earrings. Isn't that fun? I think that's so fun. Let me put the other one on. It's so fun, y'all. Maybe it'd be better... Hold on, let me switch them. Because, you know, I like to give y'all the first impressions and the reviews and stuff. That's better. I like that better. So, just some really sweet butterfly earrings. So, and they had different, um, different colors, different patterns that you could, that you could get. So, super, super simple, super fun. Next up, we have this thing right here. Um, this was how much? This was four dollars and forty nine cents. Is around the neck reading light. Almost dropped it. Didn't drop it. <laughs> um, it kind of gives you some direction, but they're not in English. So if you can read that. More power to you. It's not in Chinese or whatever the whatever the language is called. I'm not sure. I don't want to. I don't like calling it Chinese because that's not what the language is actually called. But it's in some other language. Maybe Dutch. Maybe. I don't know. But let's see if we can get this off. So it is a flexible neck light and it's on like this is padded right here like foam and just can any any way you want to wear it and then I think it probably takes batteries um let's see you would think I would read the instructions but I don't oh done Um, oh, okay. So the battery is in here. And I'm going to take this off. So that comes off. 
And then it takes, looks like two triple A's. Do I have triple A's on me? <laughs> you know, I will go for the remote control. Just, just to sample something, you know? And I have been using my nails, as you can see. And you know, all these, these nails, this nail glue is amazing. I'm telling you. What am I doing? <laughs> I forgot. Okay, so I like that they had the pictures inside the, the actual thing to tell you which direction to put the batteries in. Okay. So we're just going to put this back on. I did notice I was doing a, I was like, I was editing one of my previous Timu hauls and I noticed how much I do out of camera range. And I'm sorry, y'all. I, I'm going to try to do better about that. So I'm going to put this on. And we have light. So if you want to bend them in a little bit, you know, you can. So, or if you want to need to bend them up a little bit, you can do that as well. So, get out of my way. So, I think that'd be really good. You know, if you like to read in bed while your partner sleeps. <laughs> but yeah, super fun. Something like that, and then you can just turn one on. Actually, they have, I guess they have different levels, so. Oh, cool. So we have level one. That's. And then there's another level. And then there's a third level, so. So I'm not sure what, what the difference is between each level. Um, as I'm looking into the light here. I don't know. I don't know. I think the, I think one is brighter than the other. And then for level three, they both combine. So, pick that up. And these are kind of, like they do kind of turn a little bit. Um, so, you got to be careful with that. So. Or do they, you know, they just kind of twist. Yeah. I guess they're bad about twisting, so you gotta kind of watch that. It's windy outside today, so if you can hear the wind, I apologize. I can't tell Mother Nature to keep it down. So, this next one is a two-in-one thermal paper correction fluid. Um, and this was, how much did I pay for this? Did I not write it down? Oh, I wrote it on the top. <laughs> $2.28. And I got this because sometimes when you use, when you have to send some a product back to somewhere or you have to ship it off, but sometimes you're going to reuse an existing package and they want you to blur off. They want you to mark out any other labels that are on the package. So I got this. To see if it helps. So that's a, that's a knife. It has like a little knife right there. You see me actively trying to figure this out. So I'm guessing this part right here might be the correction. So you have like a little pad right here. And of course, I dropped the cap. So. have the label here and you're not going to be able to see the address on it but I am going to see it just goes blue I guess it only works on thermal on, and not right well it is disappearing so um I was trying to see if maybe I might have a receipt paper or something around here. I 
gonna try it on this other, the other label. I say that one, it, that one marked it off like super easy with one swipe. So this one, let's see, it's marking it out. So it would probably be a lot easier with like say a receipt paper or some kind of thermally printed label. These may not be thermally printed. These may not, these might just be like a regular printer. I don't know. I don't know. It might be thermal. As you can see, I'm still playing with it. I think the, the shipping label might be like the one with the address on it. Um, I think this might be regularly printed, but you can somewhat blur it out. But then this one is thermal. So this one rubbed out pretty well. So I don't know. Um, I think it'll be, I think it works. I'm pretty sure it works. But as far as why you would need the knife, I don't know. Maybe to cut off a label. Um, let me see if the listing is any help. I can't get used to this tablet, y'all. Um, I have an iPhone. Dang it. I have an iPhone and I can just touch the screen to wake it up. <laughs> and I keep trying to do that with this tablet, but this tablet is a Galaxy Tab. So it's an Android and it does not do that. So, um, oh, okay, yeah. I guess the they have the, the little knife right here as like if you cut the box open, um, to help cut the box open. And there's supposed to be a, they show it as having like a little, um, I can show you. They show it as having like this little um, lanyard attached to it, but it did not come with one. So I don't know if they're, I mean, it looks like they're lying to me on that. But just to let you know, um, and it did come with, come in blue or pink. Um, and you could get a refill for each one, or you could get a bundle with two blue and two pink. Let me, hold on, I'm gonna have to, hold on, I'm gonna have to get that cap so this doesn't dry out. Okay, so, got that. Hopefully, that will come in use at some point. And, I've also taken the batteries out, back out of the little neck lamp thing. And they just rolled off my table. So, hopefully I won't need anything else that has batteries, so. But next up, why did I buy a seven in this? I'm a little worried. So next up we have a ring. And this was $2.24. And I've had my eye on this for a little bit and it's really pretty. This would have been nice to wear like at Easter time just because it's these pastel colors. It has this beautiful, um, Stop focusing on me. Kind of iridescent, kind of pinky, purples, greens, and then the stones on the side are light pink. So, yeah, it fits. So, really pretty. Yeah, that's really pretty. So, I would definitely have to wear it on this finger because even I think on this hand, it might fit on this finger. So, my ring fingers is the only one I'm going to be able to wear it on. So, really pretty. Um, I'm going to try my best to not spend too long on each item. So, next up, we have a phone case. And this was $1.29. Way cheaper than getting them off Amazon. And it is a... It's a tea. For my first name. <laughs> um, this is just a regular, um, like what they call a PU, the polyurethane, you know, the, 
that type of thing. So obviously I can't show it to you on my phone, but I will insert a picture um, to let you to let you know what it looks like on my phone. I think it'll be really pretty, honest, honestly, because my phone is a light purple, and I'm hoping this fits. So I got the one for the iPhone 11, right? iPhone 11, yes. So I'm hoping it fits. Just that that boxy square shape just kind of <laughs> makes me a little nervous. So, but pick that up. I see a lot of phone cases that I do like, but I don't buy them because I can only use one phone case at a time. And I'm not the kind of person that like just changes their phone case out every day. So I put a phone case on there. I will leave it on for the probably the better part of six months to a year, just until I get tired of it. So why don't you try that out? So next up we have a box the box and this um this is actually another i bought one of these before in a different um different variety but i bought this off of that same listing this is actually a little tiny night <laughs> i can get it open hold on you can see I have foam to deal with. And this was $5.18. Comes like this. <laughs> Cute little, just the, um, the resin, not resin, but you know what I mean. Not stone, but not plastic either. It's super cute. He's super cute. And he's going to go on one of my other steps. Because, like, I have the first night, I have him on one of the steps. Like, right next to the railing. So, he's kind of hidden unless you just happen to see him. And so, this guy, so I might as well just leave this all in trash. But this guy is going to go on the next step down. So, I kind of want to have, like, the different ones, like step down from each other all in a row <laughs> so. so picked him up that was from the ring <sighs> yeah so next up it looks like I have uh, looks like I have another uh, glasses case but there are actually glasses in here and these were four dollars and eight cents but the, you see what I mean, though, about a lot of the glasses you buy on Timu will come in this style case. So $4.08. And they come with the cleaning cloth. <laughs> the name of this color of these glasses is Ambiguous Red. And they did come in other colors. Um, but I just, I don't have any red glasses, so I thought I'd like to have some red glasses. So these are super pretty, have this gorgeous blingy detail on the side in the gold. Super fun. I love them. So really nice, really nice. So that'll be something fun to wear if I ever have something that'll match them. What we got next here um there are some larger items in here so i'm trying to kind of save those um but a few jewelry items of course so the next one is another set of earrings and these were a little bit more and let's see if i can see why just from the description um this is it's called it they say that these are natural emperor stone. I've never heard of emperor stone. So, um, these were $4.99. $4.99. Um, but these are really, really pretty. 
if I can get them off. Okay. So really pretty. And the, the hook on these things is really thick and really wide. Like, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, but the hooks on those are really, are really something else. Like they're, they're different. They're larger. So let's hope these will go in my ear. You would think that since I had my ears gauged up a while back, you'd think they would go in just fine. Uh, come on now. And of course, I'm just going to choose now not to be able to find the hole. There they are. So, it looks like they're really pretty. I can't see, guys. I really can't. You know, I do these hauls, and... Like when I try on the earrings, I can't half see them. At least not on me. So, really nice. I think those are really nice. Let me glint my glasses so I can see. So, yeah. I like those. They're really nice. So. $4.99. And I think they had them in a second color, a different color as well. Um, um, if they did, they're both sold out at the, this particular time. Um, maybe not. Maybe it was just the one color. But as of right now, um, all options are sold out, but I will link the entire order down below in the description box so that you can see this whole haul in one spot. So just in case like you see a couple of items that you like in this haul and you don't have to go back and individually click on each link. You can just go to that one link and it will list the entire order and you can click on each thing that you like. And anything that's sold out um, at that particular time, it'll just be grayed out. You'll you'll be able to see the picture, but it'll, everything will be grayed out. And there won't be any kind of price or anything listed next to it. But I don't even think the description shows up. You'll see the, the picture, but I don't think there'll be any kind of description on it. But uh, everything else will have the picture and a description on it. So, And you can click on it and go straight to that particular listing. So, anywho... This next item is 79 cents, y'all. It's another ring. And I did get an eight in this one. And this one actually doesn't fit too much bigger than, this, than that seven did. So this one is really sweet. This one is like an opal. Really sweet, pretty ring. Why am I doing my hand like this? I don't know. <laughs> just a really sweet, just a really sweet, nice, small ring. And you see that it does kind of stick up a little bit. So, I pick that up. It's really nice. 79 cents for that. So, next up, we have another ring. While I'm on rings here. And this one was $1.48. And I also got this one in a size 8. I really wish the sun would stay out. <laughs> So this is another ring, and this one is an eight. I'm gonna put this on my other finger, but this one is just a really sweet, like flower and leaf design. You see, there's really pretty. I'm gonna put up a picture um, from the listing to show you what it looks like more close up than my camera can show it. So, but yeah, it's just the, the two rings that I got, <laughs> the last two rings. So we have three rings in this particular haul. So that's awesome. So next up, we have a pair of earrings. And you guys remember when I said I was kind of in a, a place where I was ordering a lot of look at me, look at me kind of earrings. 
yeah. These are no different. And somebody please tell me why I ordered these. Especially since when I wear hoops, they tend to not be normal. They tend to want to stick out even more than normal. And I think this might have gotten a little bit bent. So I'm trying to, I'm trying to like bend it back to the side. So did I tell you how much they were? $4.99. <laughs> what am I ever going to wear these with, guys? I don't know. But what am I ever going to wear these with? And somebody's undoubtedly going to say, Oh, you can wear them on a date. We don't go on dates. <laughs> we just, we don't go on dates. So, let's see. It's always fun trying to get these things out. Okay. Lord have mercy. Help me, y'all. I just saw them and I was like, ooh, sparkly. Purple. Let's see if it's going to go down in a thing. Anyway, they're going to look something like that. What am I going to wear it with? Hmm? Can somebody tell me? Just so I don't look crazy. What am I going to wear these with? Can anybody tell me? I don't go out. Not to clubs or anything. Mm hmm. <laughs> but that's the thing I have now. So these are the kind of earrings that they have this and you got to kind of set them down inside this little the little groove right there and they supposed to clip down in there. So Yeah. I bought those and that's the thing that I bought. I don't regret it or anything. I'm just... Why? So. So, yeah. <laughs> More jewelry. So, what else we got here? I think there's something down there. Maybe. So, I think the rest of this stuff is the bigger items. Maybe. Hold on. Yeah. We just lost power, y'all. But I'm gonna but I'm gonna continue. <laughs> it's very windy outside, y'all. So we're gonna con we're gonna continue. We're gonna keep going with this because I've already unwrapped half of this stuff already. Or three fourths of it. So the next up we have a pair of earrings. Um and they did come with the little rubber backings. These are not as big and um, audacious as the other ones. So just a really sweet, simple um, green and silver earring. So really, these are really a lot more, <laughs> a lot more manageable, if you will. So really sweet and simple. I'm really like, this is real life, people. This is real life. So, a dollar and seven cents for those. And Lord, I just, mercy, I just realized the power going out cuts off the power to the dishwasher that I had running and the fans that she has in her room. So, when those come back on, that's going to be fun. Um, I hope the dishwasher comes back on okay. That's my only concern. So next up, we have a bathing suit that I bought my daughter. Now, buying stuff like this does make me a little nervous. Um, just because I've never bought stuff like this from overseas before. This was $5.88, so I bought her a little bathing suit. 
for the summer so that if she, we want to let her like run around outside like in her in a little wading pool or something um we will have a bathing suit bathing suit for her and this was in the two to three two to three um size so she might be able to fit it next year this year but she might still also be able to fit it next year but knowing me we'll probably do a new bathing suit next year so it's really i mean it's feels like an average bathing suit that you would get at a store so it's there's a little stretch to it so yeah i think it feels okay um yeah i mean it feels like a bathing suit there's nothing weird about it or anything so pick that up for her and it did come in the little zippered plastic bag um i also bought a scarf um, that, I'm going to show you that in a second. I'm sorry, I don't have light to show you guys. We're going to pull this out. Thank God for battery-operated things, right? Um, so, the next thing we have is a scarf. Or is it, oh, no, the scarf is in the other thing. So, the next thing we have is a bag. Sorry, this is a bag. Um, and this was $6.58. Yet another bag that I, <laughs> I need, but I don't need. So this one is just a regular old, just a standard black bag. It's not big. A little bit smaller than I was expecting it to be, but that's okay because I don't really carry it much anyway. So the opening is kind of small, um, the opening is a little tight. Um, just a small little cute little bag, as you can kind of can see the size is my hand. So, um, it has the nice faux leather. I mean, the leather is really nice, beautiful faux leather. And it has the zipper on the back here. Um, I've never had any trouble with the zippers on these things, ever. Zipper here, zipper there, which might be... So that is just a, like a dummy pocket almost. I mean, you could, but you wouldn't really be able to fit anything in there because it's just the flap to this compartment right here. Which also has a zipper. So, so you got the compartment there. So, it does look like this right here is going to probably try to stick up. So, we need to kind of rest that down when you go to close it up. So, um, and then the cute little heart details on there. And then you also have, like, the two little side pockets over here, too. So, really cute, um, adjustable shoulder bag. Adjusts to pretty long, um, it looks like. In case you like to do like I do and use it as a crossbody bag. So... So yeah, this would be like a crossbody bag. This like this is sitting like right at my at my lower waist, my lower stomach. So super simple, super fun. I don't know why it's twisted. So yeah, but you could also wear it like like this if you wanted to. So, really, really pretty. Um, next up, we have a belt. <laughs> and this is a belt. Um, this is, I'm hoping it's elastic. This was $2.08. I'm hoping it's elastic, and I hope it will fit a plus-size woman like myself. 
so looks like it might fit. So this is just, well, come on now. So like that. No, no, it might, it should. But uh, as the snaps, really easy snaps. Has the faux leather right here. Um, it's gonna be hard to really actually tell because I'm sitting down and you tend to expand when you're sitting down. So I just got something like this because like if I'm wearing like say a maxi dress or something, it's gonna be hard to tell on me right now, but it does fit. So obviously I got all my rolls right here that I'm trying to avoid. But yeah. Just I don't know what that is, but ignore that. But it does fit, so so yeah. But easy easily take it off. Um, so yeah, that looks like it's going to work. So if I ever want, um, want to put like a belt with a, a maxi dress or anything like that, I can. So, that, that. Um, and then I have one last item that I am going to show you here, but I'm also going to kind of do a little insert of, um, me trying it on because it is a shirt. And this was, how much did I spend on this? This was $8.09. So I got a 4X, I believe. I got a 3X in this. I saw this. And they have it in men's too, by the way. But I got it in the women's. It says, it is black. It looks, it's coming off as gray, but it's black. It says IDK, IDC, IDGAF. <laughs> and if you're up on the lingo, it basically says, I don't know, I don't care, and I don't give a freak. <laughs> so I just thought this was super fun. It looks like it's going to fit. Um, just kind of holding it up on my side. So, But I'm going to insert like a little thing of me trying it on so you guys can see. But this is super stretchy, super soft. It's not thick at all. This would be a great, great shirt for summer. Um, so, yeah. Okay, just for you guys, I'm trying on the shirt that I got from Timu. Fits really well. This is my usual size, 3X. Tons of stretch, y'all. And it's still, like, not, like, super tight. So, sleeves are, sleeves are fitted, but not constricting so really like this uh i would say that it probably wouldn't have hurt to go up to a 4x but i am still very happy with this one so good call that's gonna do it for this haul um like i said got to see real life i get to let my boyfriend know that our power went off so he can call the power company and let them know so but that's it for now, guys. I will see you guys anytime uh, in the near future. If you saw something you liked in this video, please don't hesitate to give me a thumbs up. And if you if you keep coming back and watching my videos and you're not subscribed yet, why aren't you subscribed? Because I do I do Timu hauls all the time, and I also do Dollar Tree hauls and Goodwill and uh, um, Salvation Army hauls and all these hauls. And I'm trying to get around the game to going to Gabe's. But uh, haven't gotten around there yet. So I do hauls. And not just Timu hauls. But even if you like my Timu hauls. You should definitely subscribe. So. But that's it for me for today. For right now anyway. And I will see you guys in the future. Very very soon. And until I see you again. Be good. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.